Hey there, AP families, moms, dads, aunts, uncles, grandmas, grandpas, guardians. This is your child's AP US history teacher. My name is Justin Smiley, and I would like to, first of all, apologize for not being there tonight to meet you in person. I recently had knee replacement surgery and uh, still dealing with a lot of just PT and stretching issues and things like that. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to be there tonight at um, open house night, but I did wanna give you guys just a little bit of a preview. Um, I don't know what you've heard in the past. I'm sure I had some of your kids as freshmen, so hopefully this will be a little bit of a review, but this class is no joke. Um, it is a college credit class and the content that we are supposed to get through is about 38 chapters worth of content. Now this is a year long class, but that means that we will be covering roughly one chapter a week. And some of the shorter chapters, we might get to two chapters a week. And as far as the textbook goes, it's about a thousand pages that we have to get through this school year. And uh, I think my job as a teacher is to try to, first of all, prove to your students why this stuff matters and why this is important to know. It's relatively easy to memorize people and events, and for some students, it's pretty easy to memorize dates. Uh, but I really believe that my job as a teacher is to show your students why studying this stuff actually matters. Uh, the format of the class is pretty straightforward. Your students will receive a section of guided notes for each chapter. And uh, those are some, those, that's something that I've, I've typed myself. These are not just random worksheets that we've printed off from a handbook. These are things that I've made I've read through every single chapter, I've looked through every piece of information, key people, vocab terms, and then I've also made a bunch of essential questions that your students will need to answer. And this is not kind of like scan and find the word or the person. Like, you're gonna have to put some thought into this. This isn't just gonna be like, hey, I can scan through the textbook and find the answers to all these essential questions. The, the point of the essential question is to get your student to think. We're going to do our best to prepare your student for the AP exam, which will be next May. We also recognize that some of the students that take the class will not be taking the AP exam. Um, but if you are a parent or a guardian that has not experienced an AP class before, it's kind of weird because as the teacher, I don't actually know what the test is going to be. I don't know what the test questions are going to be. And that's odd because in the other classes that I teach, I write all my quizzes and I write all of my own tests. So preparing for the AP exam is difficult because we don't know what is actually gonna be on the test. Um, I've had reports from students in prior years where they took the AP exam and there wasn't a single question on there about the Civil War, which is a pretty significant event in US history. I've also had students in prior years that said there was not a single question about World War II. Uh, there was one year where there was not a single question about the Cold War. So we're gonna do our best to prepare your students to be successful in the AP exam so that they can earn that college credit. Um, but we also wanna make sure that this isn't just a class where we're cramming information down your student's throat and then praying that they're gonna remember it. Um, I'm going to try to pick out some key pieces of information that I think are worth our time and really kind of focus in on those, hone in on those, and then pull in some outside readings and some podcasts and some audiobooks and some video clips and try to make this information, you know, applicable to them so they would be more likely to understand it. If you have any questions for me, please email me. Uh, my email address is in the directory, but most of the teachers are pretty straightforward. It is the first letter of their first name, followed by their last name, 
at psdr3.org. So for me, that would be the letter J as in Justin, smiley, S-M-I-L-E-Y, at psdr3.org. Please shoot me an email if you have any questions. Um, I'll do my best to reply in a timely manner. Again, I apologize that I could not meet you in person, um, but hopefully I'll get to meet some of you guys at parent-teacher conferences. If you have any questions, please email me, and uh, I look forward to teaching your students this semester.